Okay, quick mention about Fuji. I, uh, I slightly gave Fuji down the road yesterday for not having a sufficient uh, raw converter. And, you know, I have tons of Fuji stuff. I love the hell out of Fuji. I just happen to be wearing their t-shirt right now, by the way. Um, a fanboy is someone, it's like, whatever you ask them about that particular part, it's like, yeah, that's awesome. It's like, what about this about, yeah, that's awesome. That's a fanboy. So I did kind of get Fuji down the road yesterday about uh, having not, I mean, they, I know Fuji has a herd of nerds where they can outsource the production of, uh, correct, uh, raw converter. And, uh, I found out that, uh, the person that's actually making the best raw converter um, for Fuji, which uh, is a Radiant developer, I heard back from him, and uh, since he's one person, it's no big deal. I mean, I get overwhelmed with emails and stuff. His specific message to me was is that it is not on the immediate horizon for 2016 that uh, the raw converter um, uh, for Fuji, or the raw converter, excuse me, for uh, a Radiant developer will be available for Windows. So uh, that information is an update. But this is not about that. I mean, I keep hearing this over and over again that people say, well, I don't want to buy into Fuji because of the lack of flash options. And we all know that uh, Fuji has a new uh, TTL speed light that is going to come out, uh, what, about four or five weeks from now, or maybe a little bit less than that. It's a full-fledged speed light, basically the size of the SB910. And it will do high-speed sync capability uh, with the select Fujis. Um, but this notion, I mean, I've got tons and tons of lighting stuff around here. Lots of professional studio strobes. Uh, well over two dozen speed lights. Yeah, well over two dozen. And uh, TTL cables. By the way, uh, uh, Fuji uses a Canon pinout for a TTL. In other words, if you wanted to do TTL flash photography using a TTL cable, it would be a Canon. That, by the way, is something else that uh, Fuji needs to make uh, immediately, is they need... And a lot of people have made the ignorant comment to me, and it's like, well, why don't you just buy, you know, a uh, off-brand TTL cable? And it's the same reason that Nikon would not say, well, you know, you can get our speed light off our camera, you should go buy this third-party TTL cable. That's actually something that Fuji needs to take care of, ASAP. Now they've come out with a... Uh, a, a TTL speed light, which is made by Metz. It's basically the same size as this, and it's gonna basically it was the same announcement with the Fuji XT2 announcement, which I'll be one of the first people to buy an XT2. Here's my X100T. I've got a few X uh, XT1s back there, an XT10, an X Pro2, and you know, 18 Fuji lenses. So you know I love the hell out of Fuji, but you know, we have to be realistic. There is no perfect company. Um, Nike, I mean, Fuji, however, is doing a better job than anybody else is, so let me, uh, you know, reference that statement that compared to everybody else, Fuji is kicking it hard. I mean, this is, this is some tough, petrified wood sort of awesomeness made in Japan, and the same thing, I had th three minutes my hands on the Fuji X-T2. I've handled enough cameras, I'm not going to make an evaluation about the X-T2, but having handled it for a few minutes... I can say that, yeah, it's ever every bit as much as a uh, as a tough uh, oh yeah moment as the XT1 was when it came out, except obviously much more so with the advancements. So uh, you know, Fuji is doing everything right, and because I pointed out a couple deficiencies, it's no different than tough love. Um, but this video specifically is about anybody complaining about the lack of flash options for Fuji. I mean, you're either sniffing glue or you're smoking crack. Or, you know, you've had your head in some dark place, because that is absolutely not true. Now, let me give you one example. Now, the X100T, for example. You see, I've got quite a few professional studio strobes behind me. And uh, these are IGBT-controlled uh, studio strobes. They won't do high-speed sync on nothing. Nothing. Okay? If your camera's going to sync at 180th on a focal plane shutter, fine. I have... With the Fuji X100T, this is just one example, okay, for God's sakes. I can actually use all my uh, Paul C. 500, I mean, Alien B, ABR 800, the Einstein unit, or the DigiB Studio Strobe, which is over here. This is the only damn camera that I can do that with. Okay, so there's knock number one. I can't do that with a Canon. I can't. I don't care if you got a Canon, 
I don't care if you got a Sony. I don't care if you got a Nikon. I can't use high speed sync with any of these damn studios. I can with this Fuji, however. Okay, point number one. <sighs> and that is awesome, by the way. That is just. People don't understand how important that is to crush the ambient light and do high speed sync photography at a one four thousandth or one two thousandth of a second with this. You just don't understand. I'll give you a link if you don't understand, and then you could read the article. <sighs> Speed lights. I can use any speed light I want with my Fujis. Was remember it's the XT1, the XT2, um, my X Pro2. I can't use it in TTL mode. I can't use a Nikon speed light in TTL mode on the Fuji, but I can use it in auto mode and I could use it in manual mode. I also have the options of using Nissan flashes. I also have the option of using those Nissan flashes with this camera or the XT1 or the XT2 um, in high speed sync mode. Those are excellent little flashes, little speed lights. And yes, I know, Fuji's coming out with their own speed light, and it'll be out in a month. It's basically the same price as this. I think it's $550. Uh, but, you know, <laughs> I've been having plenty. And also with my X-T1, I can do uh, um, continuous high burst flash photography wirelessly. In other words, I pop on a pocket wizard onto any Nikon speed light and I crank it up to continuous high on my X-T1 and I can do that on the X-T2 also when it comes out you know, brrr, you know. I, what am I limited on? the only thing that Fuji is lacking like I said then they need to get on it and right now I'm using Velo 6 foot uh, TTL cables uh, to get because you gotta get your flash off your camera you gotta get you, you know. By the way, the Fuji XT2, you know, is you know, it's basically be the size of an XT1, a little bit thicker, a little bit taller. You know, having a gigantic speed light like this on top of it, no bueno. It's not a factor of top heavy, which is an issue. It's that the lighting on hot shoe mounted speed light, no. Every professional photographer in the world will tell you that. I don't care what anybody says. One of the most useful tools in the world is getting your damn flash off your damn camera. It's like, you know, what is the photography 101? Photography, unless you're like a paparazzi or, you know, a, uh, a photojournalist, you know, someone photographing the president or something like that, you'll see them have hot shoe mounted flash. That's strictly, strictly for news and documentary work. Photography 101 is getting your damn flash off your damn camera. Period. Every professional photographer out there will say, yep, hot shoe mounted flash photography sucks. Fuji, Fuji, Fuji. You need to make your own. Outsource this if you want. I don't care who you get to make it. Um, China, I mean, Canon and Nikon, they all outsource it to China. Fuji, 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 Fuji. You need to have your own branded TTL cable. Just immediately add. That is a, you have to add that accessory immediately. Right now I'm using a Canon TTL cable. People are like, well, what's the issue there? It's not an issue. It's an issue of company image. And this doesn't mean I have any less of an image of Fuji because they don't have a TTL cable. It's the fact that Fuji could take care of this problem overnight, and they need to take care of this problem overnight. If you have a series of lenses and a series of cameras and now you have your own professional speed light that's going to be released in a month, you gotta, 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 gotta have a TTL coiled speed light cable. You just do. Especially so with the mirrorless system where it's top heavy. Hot shoe mounted flash photography sucks. Also, a large speed light with four AA batteries sitting on the top of a mirrorless camera really sucks because it is way top heavy there's just no denying that but the core fundamental of this issue anybody complaining about lack of flat well I don't want to invest in the Fuji system because they have and I keep hearing that and they got a lack of flash options a lot no they don't you know buy yourself a, a Nikon speed light buy yourself you know you should have some wireless triggers already for God's sakes wireless triggers are center pin trip only like pocket wizards or those flash cue triggers I've been telling everybody to buy they're to the size of dice cubes. That's something that Fuji should actually buy. Fuji should contact the people at FlashQ and actually make a contract with them and like stamp their name on it and actually sell that as a Fuji accessory. I mean, I'm so dead serious as a heart attack. That would be the best. Fuji should brand their name on those little damn FlashQ triggers. Fuji, people at Fuji, 
look into what the hell a flash cue trigger is. I've got a bunch of them. I've had a lot of people buy them. They're the coolest things since sliced bread. They're silk, sex, and sugar. They are perfect for food. They're the size of a dice cube. Actually, less than the size of a dice cube. You gotta buy that. You should buy that company out, or at least uh, subcontract to have them produced for yourself. Good idea. Really, really good investment. If Fuji had their own wireless triggers, they wouldn't have to invent or create anything. All they'd have to do is just buy that company. <laughs> They're located in China. They're really good triggers, by the way. They just run off a watch battery, and um, I think you get like a, a ten thousand flashes off a of a one dollar watch battery. It's a twenty twenty five watch battery, which is the cheapest, most common watch battery there is. But the lack of flash options for a Fuji, no, 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 no. Absolute nonsense. I got flashes and speed lights and studio strobes flying out my fanny, okay? And I will tell you, if Fuji had an issue with speed lights or lighting issues, they don't. I have had no situation where I'd be like, oh, crap, I got a Fuji. I have this issue with lighting. I've never encountered that. I've got a bunch of Fuji cameras. I've never had this moment like, oh, damn. You know, to do this sort of uh, flash photography, I'd have to have a Nikon. I've never encountered that. Not. Doesn't exist. Just don't. Don't have that issue. So, enough of the nonsense. Okay? The people are saying, I'm not going to invest in Fuji because of a lie. No. Enough of the nonsense. <laughs> Anyway, love to you, Fuji. And so, Fuji, you need to resolve two issues. You need to immediately make a TTL cable. You need to come out with uh, a raw converter. No big deal. Your cameras, your lenses are awesome. Oh, love Fuji. Great. Okay. There's no such thing as a perfect company, and those are not really big deals. The raw converter is kind of a big deal, but, I mean, I'm using a radiant, so I have no issues. And you ought to take a look at flash cue triggers. Um, if you don't buy the company, what you should do is like make a carbon copy of it or something <laughs> and come out with it. That would be so awesome. That would be the... <laughs> Anybody that has a Fuji or, you know, think about buying a Fuji, just imagine a wireless trigger on your camera that's the size, less than the size of a dice cube. It's basically like a hot shoe cover, only a little bit bigger. And then you have another unit that is the exact same size that fits on the... Uh, the uh, plate of the base of your speed light. Perfect wireless flash photography all day long. That's how professionals work, okay? You know, people that are actually taking street and portrait photography, you know, on the go, like, you know, no, it's not mounted on their hot shoe. No, 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 no. It's, it's this number. It's this, okay? There's no denying that. Don't even try to argue with me because you're wrong and I'm right. <laughs> Hot shoe mounted flash photography sucks, unless you're a paparazzi or a photojournalist. But the, you know, that's not about the art, that's about capturing the news. Okay, catch you later. Bye.